All right guys, welcome to Frugal Homestead. So today we're gonna to be working on dehydrating some venison, also known as deer jerky. Good stuff. So for our mix, we're gonna be using our High Mountain Pepperoni Blend, okay? I actually got this off eBay. This makes about 15 pounds maximum and it was $8.99 free shipping. Usually you'll pay more for these. This is kind of, I just got lucky on the price. Now, this kit includes the cure and the seasoning and instructions, that's basically it. Now, just a tip to all you guys out there or ladies, this makes a wonderful thing to tell people you would like for Christmas or birthdays or whatever. I usually tell my kids that or my wife and then I never have to actually buy it usually. We do make our own homemade stuff, like uh, my dill pickle jerky is pretty well known. Um, and my kids never, never leave me any of it, but today we're gonna just be using the High Mountain products, which is an excellent product. I do recommend them. We also are gonna be using our new square tray, Sung Life dehydrator, food dehydrator, square dehydrator. And we're gonna be using our Presto jerky gun because I ground this jerky up rather than cutting in strips. So let's go ahead and get started. So what we're gonna do here, when we first got the meat ground up, there's five pounds in here. So I used a third of this pack, a third of the cure, and a third of the seasoning, and I added in just about a cup of water. Basically it says a quarter cup maximum per pound of meat I actually went a little less and it seemed to work out perfect so eight ounces of water to five pounds of meat and then a third of the box of cure and a third of the box of seasoning put it in there let it sit for 24 hours after mixing it extremely well put it in the fridge 24 hours now we're here now we're gonna start loading it up and shoot it down onto the trays in the dehydrator to get it started so this was a young buck, probably second year maybe, but I think it's going to make some excellent jerky also. But for those of you that might shoot a real nice buck with a nice rack but that's old, making them into jerky is the way to go guys. So we fill up our Presto gun. And there'll be a link to where you can get these Presto guns off Amazon down in the description box of this video. Now we have choices. I only really use two of the nozzles for this. One is the round. I like to use this one more in my round Nesco dehydrator and I just keep going round and round. It makes like a snack stick basically without the casing. And then I've got the double barrel is what I call it. It's two flat ones. These are honestly about the best jerky you can make because it's the perfect thickness and they have one that's as wide as that whole thing but it's one piece. But the problem is if I give my kid a piece of jerky, you know, it's huge. So this kind of makes people eat it slower because I'm like, yeah, you can only have one or two pieces. It just slows them down from eating it. I know it sounds stupid, but if you see how fast jerky goes around my house, you'd understand. All right. So that's our jerky gun completely loaded. Let's get some trays going. Take our lid off. There's our tray. I've been waiting a long time to be able to get a dehydrator with a square tray system. The Excaliburs and all the high end stuff are extremely expensive and I know they're worth the money, but I got a hold of the people at Sung Life and I worked with them before on their weather band radio and they started putting these out and they gave me the 20% off coupon code and the one to share with you guys. So look for a video on this coming out soon. But it's multi-temperature. It's got like the four or five most used temperatures in dehydrating pre-programmed into it and a timer. So let me put the uh, meat on these trays and we'll get going. So all you do is it's just like a caulking gun essentially. 
And the trick is keep it moving. You just want to keep it moving all the time. Now if you have a round dehydrator, you would just do these all the way around. Now this is deer jerky, so we don't have as big a problem with the fat. If we were doing beef jerky in this, I almost might consider putting parchment paper down to help alleviate some of the problems with the grease. But there's our first tray done. And I generally use the entire gun's worth. Okay. Pop our lid here. Push our button. Pull back. Now I'm hoping that I will be able to get this entire five plus pounds in these five trays. There's our next tray. And we're just going to continue to do that until I get all these trays filled. And then we'll come back and I'll explain to you what temperature setting and all that we're going to use. Okay, so I got almost through the whole thing doing the strips and my wife grabbed me and said she wanted some snack sticks to take to work. So, in order to please her, and you'll learn real quickly, especially on a homestead, if your wife's happy, you're happy. So, add that to the pile. Okay, get our lid on. Nice. Now, by default, the Sun Life comes at 158. So if you just turn it on, it's gonna come out to 158 degrees which is pretty much perfect for this kind of ground jerky. So we're gonna leave it at that. So all I have to do is hit power. I don't know if you guys can hear that fan starting to run in there. It's pretty quiet. But you can instantly kind of smell when, you know, something starts to heat up. It's starting to heat up pretty good. It's already starting to haze the inside of the dehydrator. So we're gonna let this run overnight I'll get back with you guys tomorrow, show you the finished product, and talk about how long it took to do ours. Alright, welcome back. So, the jerky's been going for a little over 12 hours, which is a little more than normal. Um, though it has a ton more rack space, the Sung Life food dehydrator for higher temp things like meats it's a little slower it does have an auto shut off function at 12 hours so it kicked off I came in and checked it and it's all done so let's check out what we got our finished product so 
So I hit the power button, it is now shut off. Now I have been rotating these trays and then this morning when I got up I flipped the pieces over so that it would speed up the process. I do that in every dehydrator I own. Definitely come out nice. A high mountain jerky is good stuff. So, what we'll do now is bag this up. And if you're gonna keep this long term, you wanna put it in the freezer, but I'm not gonna bother. Because I'll be honest, this stuff will be gone in no time. Around my house, jerky don't last when I make it. If anybody hears I've got jerky, the kids, or my dad, or one of my brothers, somebody's always gonna come grab it. But you can see our snack sticks we made. They're not as pretty as like a Slim Jim or a casing one, but they actually are really good just to take and pull out and pop in and eat. I kind of am partial to flat ones. Missy likes these because they're a little more chewy on the inside. It's all about personal preference, really. Oh, good. I better put these snack sticks in a separate bag for my wife or they'll all get ate up. But this is, this is what I like. Man, that pepperoni is good. So, I'm going to get this all bagged up. But like I said, it's like nine bucks for that seasoning, which does like three times this amount. And this is all venison, so other than the gunshot shell I used, it's basically free meat. But if I was to sit down and tell you to go get a price on what a bag of jerky costs this size, it'd blow your mind what it costs. I mean, that's a heck of a bag of jerky going there. Get this all in here. Make sure I eat a few pieces real quick, because I'm telling you, this stuff be gone in a handful of days, if that. I have to put my wife's stuff in a separate bag, because the boys will eat those up real fast if they know I have them. But that's just some of it. And then we still have the two trays of snack sticks here for my wife. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Real basic, you know, make yourself some deer jerky. You can also do beef jerky. Like I said, I like to put my beef jerky on top of liners, tray liners. Now, if we'd have done this in the Nesco, we'd have had to do two batches, but it would have only taken about eight to 10 hours a batch. So I guess it's all about how you look at it. This does great for things like vegetables and fruits and stuff. It just takes a little longer when doing meats. But we can't argue about the finished product because those are great. So, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go down and hit that button, hit the notification bell so you can see all of our upcoming videos, and we'll see you in the next one.